Hey guys, Leo from Brisonis, and today we are going to take a look at getting started with two of our compact audio interfaces, the AudioBox 96 and the Presonus Studio 24C. Um, so what we're going to do is run through some of the features of the two interfaces, and then we'll have a look at how to get your interface connected to your computer, how to install your software so you can quickly get up and recording very simply with these systems. So the AudioBox 96 and the Studio 24C are both USB high resolution audio interfaces. And they both come with a Class A preamp, which will give you that professional sound quality for your microphones. The units also both work with Mac and Windows and also come shipped free with Studio One Artist, which means you have the complete hardware software package ready to get you set up and recording. OK, so let's take a look at some of the features of the AudioBox USB 96. On the front panel, you'll see you've got two inputs. And these are combo jacks, so you can plug in your XLR cable, which is for your microphone, or your jack cable for your instrument on either input. Beside this, you've got a 48 volt button or phantom power, which allows you to send power to your denser microphones. Then we have your input trim knobs, number one and two. So these allow you to set the input gain independently for each input. Beside the trim knobs, you have two red clip lights. Now, when these lights clip red, this indicates that you've put too much gain on your input channel. So too much gain can give you a distorted sound. If we see the clip light staying on red or flashing red too much, then we can simply take our trim knob and bring it back until we get our level just right. So beside this, we have our mixer knob. And this allows us to take the analog input of our audio interface and send it directly to our headphone output and also blend some of the playback from our DAW session into our headphones. This means we can hear near zero latency in our headphones on the instrument or the voice we're recording, but we can also blend the playback of the material that we're recording to. Next, we have our headphone level, which in fact goes to 11. And then we have our main mixer knob, which will set the volume to the main outputs on the back of our interfaces. So on the back panel of the audio box USB 96, we have our USB connector. The really cool thing with these interfaces is that we don't need a power supply. So now we can just connect our USB cable and this will transmit signal and also supply power to the audio interface from our computer. So this is really cool if you're traveling and you can just take your audio interface, plug in your USB cable and you've got power ready to go. Beside this, we have our MIDI in and out. So this allows you to connect controllers or keyboards to your audio interface for use with your software. Then we have our main outs, which you'll connect to your speakers. And this level is controlled from the main output knob on the front of the interface. Next, we have the headphones, again, controlled by the headphone level on the front of your audio interface. So let's check out the Studio 24C. Again, we have our two combo XLR jack inputs, but this time we can plug in a mic, an instrument, or a line level instrument, which could be a keyboard or synthesizer. Next, we have an LED panel, which gives us better details on our input levels and also our output levels coming from our interface. Again, we have our independent input gain controls, our 48 volt switch, which allows us to send power to our condenser microphones, our mixer knob, which allows us to blend our inputs with our playback material, our main output level, and then our headphone level, which again goes to 11. So on the back of the Studio 24C, we have our USB connector, which this time is on a USB-C 2.0 connector. Again, we have our MIDI in out, our main outputs to our speakers, and our output to our headphones. The AudioBox USB 96 and the Studio 24C are both class compliant, which means you can plug them directly with your USB cable into a Mac, and they will show up ready to use with no drivers needed. Now, on a Windows computer, you will have to download Universal Control for Windows and the Windows driver. The installer will guide you on screen then to set up the interface ready to use. So when you first receive your unit, you'll have to set up a MyPersonus account. Here you can register your audio box or your Studio 24C using the serial number on the bottom of the unit. After you've got your interface registered, you'll notice that you have a copy of Studio One Artist included in your MyPersonus account. To install Studio One Artist, Download the Studio One Artist installer from your MyPersonus account to the computer. When Studio One is launched for the first time on your computer, you'll need to enter your MyPersonus account information. 
So Studio One Artist comes bundled with lots of loops and samples and instruments and includes everything that you'll need to make a really nice professional production. Also included is the Studio Magic Bundle. So in this bundle, you get almost $1,000 worth of plugins from Archuria, Lexicon, Mag Audio, to name a few, and also a copy of Ableton Live Lite. And you can download any of these plugins from within your MyPersonus account at any time. So all PreSonus interfaces will work with third-party DAW recording software. But let's take a little look inside how you can set up the Audiobox USB 96 and the Studio 24C with Studio One Artist. So when you first open Studio One, you will arrive at the start page. We can select which hardware interface we want to use with the session. In this case, I'll select the Audiobox USB. From here, we can create a new song. We have the choice of project style templates, and we can also select which PreSonus interface we want to use for this project. This will automatically set up your routing and your tracks all ready to go. You can also create and save your own user templates from here. We can name our song and the location that we want to save our Studio One session to on the computer. So now we can see that our session has been set up and ready to record with the two inputs of our audio box or Studio 24C all ready to go. And from the drop down menu, we can choose which interface input to select for the chosen track and name the track. We also need to arm the track ready to record. It's a good idea to switch off the software monitor button so that we can use the low latency hardware monitoring on our audio box or Studio 24C. We have a browser tab on the right hand side which contains our plugins to use when mixing our tracks. If we open our mixer tab, it's possible to drag and drop plugins directly onto the track or directly onto the mixer channel to allow us to get the tone and levels of the tracks working really nice together. So after we set the levels and have used some processing and effects on our channels, we can now create a stereo mix that can be played on other devices or uploaded directly to the internet. So first we set the loop region, which selects the part of our session that we want to export. You can then select where you want to save your song on the computer and select a name for your mix down. And that's it, you've finished your track. You can also reopen this saved Studio One session to make any further changes or add more tracks in the future. Okay, so that's a quick overview of how to get set up with your Audiobox USB 96 and your Studio 24C. If you guys want to check out any more details on these products, please go to presonus.com product page and thanks for joining.